Uh, here's another uh, look at the uh, velocities now. Once again, showing the uh, the uh, circulation going over Interstate 35 now. Some, you know, kind of zooming out and, and not just talking about RV parks here. Some some towns and some communities that are also in the path of this thing downstream because this is a pretty high population area. Uh, Hemming, Bloomfield, Pilot Point, Tioga. All of you guys are in the path of this tornado. Take shelter immediately. Uh, go ahead, Elijah. Hey, Ryan. So the Storm Prediction Center issued yet another rare mesogamma discussion specifically for this tornado. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is what they've got to say. Uh, the threat for two inch uh, hail, strong gusts, and a tornado continues. A local extension time for the tornado watch 308 may be needed specifically for um, for that storm up there uh, in uh, northeast Oklahoma. Wow. So uh, once again, I, I want to bring your attention uh, over here to the, the very strong tornado that's crossing Interstate 35 right now. Um, we've got a couple of storm chasers that are trying to give us a view of this. Riley, I don't know. Let me let me check and see where Riley is. Riley Dibble's still in Oklahoma, so he's got a little ways to go. Um, uh, people were on that stretch of uh, road whenever the tornado hits, which is happening right now. Yeah, so Jason's pretty close. Okay, finally. Finally, we got an upgrade uh, to a PDS. PDS tornado warning now. Um, uh, let me read this for you. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Uh, radar confirmed tornado. Um, you're in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be uh, destroyed. Uh, considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. So if you are just now tuning in here, we have a uh, large destructive tornado on the ground now. Crossed, it just crossed Interstate 35. Now it's coming over towards Hemming, uh, Bloomfield, and Pilot Point. Go ahead, Elijah. Hey, Ryan. Uh, that Oklahoma tornado warning may actually be on the ground. Uh, the latest scan shows a what looks like a uh, beaver in the middle of the hook echo, and it looks like there was potentially a small CC drop. I was about to bring it to your attention for the rotation, but then I looked at CC and I saw that, and it may have actually just been on the ground momentarily. Okay, thank you, Elijah. Uh, we are continuing to monitor this storm as well in Oklahoma. Barnstall, you guys are under a tornado warning. You're getting a big storm right now. That's not the tornado, okay? Uh, the tornadic part of the storm, if, if we have a tornado happening here, is way down here near Morgan's Corner, moving towards uh, Skiatook. Sky took. Gotcha. All right. Um, so we need you guys to take shelter. The velocity signature here, the, the hook and everything, doesn't quite look as intense as what we've got going on in Texas, but it's certainly uh, intense enough to warrant you taking shelter. And if this tornado comes down your street, it doesn't really matter if it's as intense as the one in Texas or not. Am I right? So um, take shelter now. Going back down to the south, though, to look at our storm in Texas, um, we are continuing to see uh, quite a robust uh, debris signature, velocity couplet, uh, hook echo. It's all still there as um, uh, this tornado continues to move towards Pilot Point. Pilot Point is a pretty populated area. Um, let's see here.
It's not huge, but uh, it's on the other side of the lake. Okay, so we're, we've been talking about Ray La Roberts Lake uh, and all the RV parks around it. Um, you know, as the tornado uh, continues to move uh, in the direction that it's been moving, um, it will go uh, over the lake and then uh, to, towards generally towards uh, Pilot Point. If it comes into the town of Pilot Point, it's going to enter on the side of town where the um, uh, the Lone Star Lodge and Marina is. Okay, um, if you know where the Lone Star Lodge and Marina is, then you also know where the Lake Ray Roberts RV Park is. Um, and if you know where that is, new information. This then you tornado know, warning has uh, been where, um, uh, the toward. Tuga Plumbing is, and that's basically where the town starts, okay? And, and then we've got a big residential area. Uh, we've got a Pilot Point uh, Coffee House, uh, you know, all this stuff down here. Uh, this town also houses a, um, uh, you know, what do we got here, um, a Brookshire. Um, you know, th 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 this is a pretty decently sized town. So, the, the, you know, we're going to see the tornado enter once again on the western side where the Lone Star Lodge and Marina is and then make it into town either somewhere uh, between the Dry Dock Lodge RV storage. Man, every, literally everything has to, something to do with an RV around here. Um, and the Pilot uh, Point Sewer Plant. All right, so somewhere over there, uh, or and anywhere in between, it's a pretty large area. Um, the tornado could be entering town from that direction. Uh, if you're just now tuning in, we've got a nocturnal, big time, a nasty tornado. Um, it's a, a PDS tornado warning now. Um, producing uh, significant damage, moving over Lake Ray Roberts. And uh, now, uh, you know, kind of uh, impacting uh, or getting ready to impact a, a larger town called Pilot Point. Beyond Pilot Point, if this continues to be a problem for us, um, the supercell, uh, this might even cause problems in McKinney, Texas, which is in, in even larger town. Uh, McKinney, Howie, Anna, Melissa, Gunter, you guys need to watch out. We've got a lot of people in Denton, Texas, tuning in. Um, the storm is, I, I really think it's going to stay to the north of Denton. Okay, you guys, if you're in Denton, Texas right now, you can probably go outside and look to the north and see a lot of lightning. What you're looking at is the monster supercell uh, that is producing the huge tornado that's coming over towards Pilot Point right now. Um, uh, also, if you're in uh, McKinney, Texas, uh, you know, if you look up to the north and west, you'll see the same thing. But unfortunately, in McKinney, Texas, it's coming uh, in your direction. It's not going towards Denton. A new tornado warning has been right, issued. We got a new tornado warning in uh, Oklahoma. This includes a little bit of Tulsa on the northwest side. Um, uh, and this is going to be associated, uh, with, you know, the, the rotation that we've been watching, that we've been tracking, uh, towards Skytook and, and Sperry and, uh, Collinsville. Now this includes Dawson, Catoosa, um, and Claremore, uh, in Oklahoma. Take shelter now. If you're on the Northern side of Tulsa, uh, specifically around Dawson, Melrose Place, Lakeview, East Tulsa, Sequoia, uh, McKinley, Mitchell, Douglas, uh, Garnet, any of these places, you need to take shelter as uh, this um, this part of the storm right here would be the tornadic portion. And it looks like it's going to try to go in this general direction. So uh, specifically around Sperry and Owasu, uh, or Owasso, um, Oklahoma, you guys are uh, in, in the path of a very strong storm capable of producing a tornado. Now, that one's not confirmed on the ground. This one in Texas is, and it's big. Okay, it's a big one, big tornado nasty one and it's hitting a bunch of rv parks unfortunately so next in line we've got pilot point uh, please take shelter if you're in pilot point once again going to enter pilot point on the side of town where we've got the black mustang ranch lone star lodge and marina and the lake roberts rv park
Uh, do we have a lot of people in here from Denton? Oh, no. It looks like... Um, What are we what are we looking at here? Uh, it looks like uh, Nick Busby uh, near Sanger, uh, Texas. Obviously, he's more north than this now. Uh, if we can get a better location on him there. Um, looks like he's come across some pretty significant damage here. Uh, this is also a, a live uh, view of um, US-169. Uh, this is facing to the north. Uh, so we've got another view of the road here as um, the storm uh, comes towards this camera view. Somebody remind me to go back to that whenever it gets closer, please. So we, I saw a lot of uh, emergency uh, vehicle uh, lights through Jason's camera. Uh, he's, he's went past that. Nick has stopped at some sort of significant damage uh, here near Valley View, Texas. So this thing is doing very significant damage. I, I don't know what it exactly is that we're looking at there, but uh, it looks bad. Uh, and it's still happening. Okay, we still got a tornado ongoing here um, as it comes uh, over towards Pilot Point. Once again, we want Pilot Point, Aubrey, Green Valley, Spring Hill, Mustang, uh, Krugerville. All of these places need to be running, not walking to shelter, getting underground, putting as many walls between them and the outside world as possible. If they can't get underground uh, at the lowest floor of a sturdy building, you do not. I repeat, you do not want to be in a in, in, in an RV, all right? Um, you want to get to a sturdy shelter. And um, this is going over Timberlake Trails right now. Uh, Pilot Point is next. The, the velocities, no, never mind. I was going to say it looks like it might be trying to let up. It, we But we actually might have two different uh, areas of uh, rotation that we're kind of uh, locked into here. But still, uh, we take shelter in Pilot Point. Uh, the next in line is going to be uh, Mustang and potentially Gunter right after that. They just issued a new uh, considerable severe thunderstorm warning just for the forward flank of this supercell. Uh, for Sherman, Dorchester, Tom Bean, and Denison, Texas, uh, this is uh, golf ball size hail and considerable winds around 65 miles per hour. What you're looking at here is a live look at some damage. Um, I, I still don't know exactly what we're looking at here near Valley View, Texas, where the tornado just went to just to the south of Valley View not too long ago. Um, and now we're watching that supercell continue to produce a tornado as it comes into Pilot Point. At some point, this thing's going to try to occlude um, and or maybe recycle a little bit. I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon or I don't know exactly if that's happening right now. Um, but, uh, you know. Let's hope that that happens as this goes over pilot point. But if we're in pilot point, if you're listening right now and, and you're in pilot point, you can't rely on that hope. I um, mean, you just got to assume that this thing is still down because it still looks like it's down, still producing a damage, a signature, velocity couplet, and all that stuff.